This is a quick video to talk about the Nikon WU-1A, which really just rolls off the tongue. This is a nifty little accessory sold by Nikon for their D3200 and D5200 cameras. It is a wireless adapter that slides into a little accessory port on the D3200 and D5200 uh, cameras. Um, and I'll put a link to a product page down below um, on Amazon. It doesn't specifically say that it works with a D5200 on Amazon, but I can confirm that it does because here is a D5200 and we're about to see it work and I've already tested it that it does work. It's a nifty little device. We're going to run through its different features here in just a second. So I've slid it into the success report. There is a one option in the setup menu of this camera that you have to turn on for it to work but it's in there now and it is broadcasting a little wireless access point that I can use a smartphone or a tablet, iOS or Android to connect to. And that's exactly what we're gonna do here. I am going to open up this app. The app opens up and it's smart enough to say, you are not connected to the camera. Open up your Wi-Fi settings and I'm gonna say yes. It's gonna bring up my Wi-Fi settings and there is the Nikon access point listed second in the list. I'm going to go ahead and select that and say connect and yes it's going to connect and now I can hit the back button and it says there's a camera detected do you want to connect to it and I didn't even have to have to hit yes for that I now have four options let's run down through them use the camera to take a picture so I use that option nothing going on here but if I take my camera and I'm just going to point it over here, take a quick picture. As soon as I'm finished taking that picture, the smartphone is grabbing the file off of the camera. It stays on the camera as well, so it doesn't leave the SD card, but you are downloading a copy to your smartphone. Once it's on your phone, it's treated like any other image on your phone or tablet, um, and that you can share it out to Facebook. You could, you can do Instagram, whatever you want to do with that picture. Um, you can now do. So that's pretty nifty. Let's go back though and go down our next option, take a picture remotely. This is where it starts to get a little bit more interesting. Your phone or tablet now acts as a wireless remote. And you can see that it says it's connected to the smartphone. I can press this button. The camera took a picture and that picture is immediately downloaded to the phone. Now, the next step that makes this even more interesting is the ability to press this disp button right here and that is display. I'm going to wait for this picture to download. I am shooting either full-size JPEGs or RAW at the moment so they are fairly large files. I'm going to press display and now the whatever this camera sees is beamed to my smartphone. So I can pick this up and you can see that there's a little bit of meta for you as I film the screen and going back and back and you can see that it's not um, completely real time and the frame rate isn't very high but you're not gaming on this you're using it to uh, frame your composition and take a picture so when it's pointed basically where you want it to be and there is some basic exposure information there it tells you that it's shooting at 1 25th of a second f5.6 I can hit this button it will take a picture and of course it's going to download it again. Now, when that, down, when that finishes downloading, we will go back to the main menu and look at our third option, and that was to access all of the pictures on the card and um, pull up any ones that you wanted. So we're going to click back, and we're going to say download Oh, the fourth option, sorry. Share pictures is just what you think it is. It's going to be the pictures that you've downloaded. You can also ac access those through other uh, camera applications. Sorry, other tablet or phone applications is what I meant to say there. So right now it is getting little thumbnails of all of the pictures on the camera. Ones that I took even when this mobile dongle was not plugged in. So here are a bunch of pictures I took. And then there are some pictures I took when I was out walking around and including... Um, uh, some movies and so I can say I want to select that and that will now download to the camera so 
you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of the iFi cards. The iFi cards allow you to uh, wirelessly move files from a camera, and they work in all most modern day point and shoot and DSLRs over to a smartphone or tablet. Um, this is nice, but it has this added feature of being able to remotely see your live view and uh, to trigger the shutter and take a picture, which is quite nice. I think uh, the most obvious use for that would be um, taking a picture of you in a group and um, you can make sure that everybody's looking at the camera when you're in the group and the camera is pointed at you, which is a pretty nifty thing. So I think this is one of those no-brainer purchases if you have a smartphone and you have a Nikon D3200 or D5200. It's a nifty little device and it really will make vacations and being out and around um, just that much nicer. I don't know how much longer Instagram is going to be around for, um, maybe years and years, but it certainly is pretty slick to be able to share a DSLR photo on Instagram instead of just a photo from your camera. Because, you know, our camera phones are much, much better these days, uh, but they still don't match uh, 24 megapixels through a really nice lens on a DSLR. So this is the Nikon wireless adapter. It's the WU-1A. The app is free and it's called the Wireless Mobile Adapter Utility, which also rolls off the tongue. And I have heard that this is only available in North America and maybe even the United States. So please, before you buy this dongle, if you live outside of that area, check to make sure that the app is available to you because without the app, it is completely worthless. It's just a little thing that sticks out of the side of your camera and blinks green. If you have any questions about this or iFi cards or anything else Nikon D5200 or Canon T4i related, please just leave a comment down below and I'd be happy to answer those questions. Thanks for watching.